Gold prices are trading slightly lower heading into the close this Thursday with August gold last down $1.40 an ounce now at 12.1770. Joining us today is Gary Wagner of the goldforecast.com. Gary, welcome back to the show. Thank you, and it's great to be here as always. So happy to have you on to try and make sense of what's happening in the gold market here, uh, Gary. Um, sliding this Thursday, uh, post Yellen's uh, remarks here, how do you see the metal set up? Well, right now, we hit an intraday low this week at around 12.04. So to me, there is some hope that the number 1,200 will hold as a support level. Obviously, we've been under tremendous pressure for the last month, month and a half, as it had a failure at 1,300 to move past it. So right now, the key is whether or not gold prices can hold $1,200. Right. Now, let me ask you this and paint a scenario for you. Uh, what happens if the bulls can produce a technically friendly weekly high closing gold on Friday tomorrow? Would that be a chart glue that perhaps a near term market bottom is in place? Well, it could indicate a bottom. I think what we might also see is is gold prices going into a consolidating manner and trading in a narrow and defined range. A twelve hundred is a key point to hold. Of course, below that is eleven eighty. Uh, gold bulls would effectively like to see a close above 1220. To me, the big number is 1232. You know, Gary, last year at this time, gold was really uh, riding the coattails of Brexit, which was the big news of the summer. Uh, uh, but this year, it's still just looking for an event to, to bring it some steam here. Absolutely no doubt. You had a fundamental shift or change in at least sentiment about the Federal Reserve. And they came off much more hawkish over the last three weeks. Of course, statements made yesterday, as well as today on the semi-annual testimony by Yellen, have put her in a much more dovish light. So for that reason, we are seeing some supportive action. And we did have modest gains on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. All right. And just some thoughts on silver, Gary. Uh, we're below $16 an ounce here at fifteen seventy one as we speak. Industrial metals uh, hurting here. Um, good news for silver coming around anytime soon? Well, I think that if we see any kind of bottom formation in gold and some sort of a rise, we will also get that in silver. The good news with silver is on the way up. It tends to outperform gold in terms of percentage gains. All right, Gary. Well, thanks so much for your thoughts, and we'll speak to you next week. Always great to be here. Have a great week. Bye-bye. And, and thanks for watching this edition of Kiko's Gold Report. We'll be back tomorrow. Thanks for watching.